Hey everyone, welcome to Everybody Loves Zippers. And today, as much as I do not like doing this, we are going to be talking about the zipper that cannot be repaired. Let's jump into it. Okay, so I've been getting a lot of emails about what to do if one of these pieces have come, in off, have come off the zipper. Uh, you have a pin, this is a separating bottom zipper. You have a box. Um, and when one of these have fallen off, we've, I've gotten a lot of questions about what to do and if it's repairable. Okay, to make this video short, the answer is no, it cannot be repaired. Um, it cannot be repaired in the long term. And what I mean by that is you can always get these back on at some point. Um, it'll be functional for a little bit, but it'll never be strong enough to uh, be a fix for a long term. So that's why we don't want to really make a video to show you how to do it because it's not a good enough fix that's going to carry your garment in for the long term. So this also applies to two-way zippers here. So this is where you have a, a slider on the bottom and a slider on top like a jacket or a trench coat. Um, if any of these two pin and boxes here, you have your pin and box, um, if they've fallen off, they cannot be repaired. So that's the short of it. Um, if you found this video uh, through some kind of search and you, this is not the right video for you, uh, click the link below because that's a link to our playlist of all of our other videos and uh, zipper tutorials. Uh, but if you'd like to know why you can't fix this, go ahead and stick around um, and I will do the long version of it right after this. All right, thanks a lot. All right, if you're still with me and watching this video, then you want to know why we cannot repair uh, this zipper. So I'm going to take you through this uh, step by step on how we make separating bottom zippers to help you understand why this can't be repaired. Um, but before I get into that, I just want to quickly mention uh, to please subscribe to this video because really uh, all of your subscriptions are what's keeping these uh, tutorials going for the, our zipper uh, channel. Uh, so please hit that button below to subscribe. Um, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, all right, let's go into it. So I'm gonna clear this space off so I can show you how we make a separating bottom zipper. In order for us to make a separating bottom zipper, what we have to do first is we need to gap out some teeth. And this is what we call gapping. So you can see this is a nylon coil zipper. You have your run of teeth here. There's a, about a two inch gap. So from here to this next gap, here is the length of the zipper that the client has specified, uh, whatever length that is. Let's pretend it's 18 inches. Um, so from here, from this first gap to the next gap is the length that the customer wants. And that is times however many quantities, so 500 pieces for example. Now when we're making a separating bottom zipper, this cord here that's exposed with no teeth, it's super flimsy. And because it's so flimsy, we can't get the machines can't get the pin and box on here. So what we have to do is we have to add a heat seal tape. And that heat seal tape is something that will look a little familiar to you is here. It's that plastic piece next to your pin and box that you sometimes see on a jacket. This heat seal tape is put on to stiffen the cord. So you can see here, this is the gap that we had. This is the heat seal tape. Now this little portion here, that little kind of white raised portion, that is the cord, but now it's stiff. It's not flimsy here. It's actually stiff. So when the machine goes on, when, this, when the zipper goes on the machine, the pin and box can be applied onto the cord. Okay, now when the pin and box is applied to the cord, it's punched on with great force. And you can see here, this here, is the pin and box that gets punched onto the zipper. And you can see here's the heat seal tape. Uh, we have a little cutout, we call a T-punch to make room. You see this little gap here. Uh, but then the, the pin and box are punched on. You see, I'm gonna zoom in here and you'll be able to see where they're punched on. Let me see if I can get this in good focus. There you go, okay. So, you see here the machine is actually dropping these divots and it's locking the pin and box onto the cord. So when I say that this can't be repaired, it's because these little holes here have been uh, worn out basically, which has caused the pin and box to fall right off. 
and that's why you can't repair it yourself. You can put them back on, but it's, you're never going to be able to punch them back on with enough force as the original machine to keep them on for a long period of time. It's just a temporary fix. So this also applies with two ways, two way separating uh, zippers. You can see that this here has the heat seal tape and then the cord here that's been stiffened, okay, so that we can get the pin and box on. Now, what you result in is you have your top of your zipper here, okay, your top stops will go here. This is the top of your jacket, for example, and then here's the bottom with the pin and box. So when these fall off, same things apply. You can't punch these on with enough force to get it to stay. So let's show you here, there we go. See these little divots here? That's where the machine is punching the metal, the die cast uh, metal of the pin and box, and it's punching it onto the cord to lock onto the cord. So when this falls off, if it ever does because it's worn out, or the machine didn't punch it enough, then uh, you're not gonna be able to get it on with enough force for long-term fixes. So that is basically, in a nutshell, what happens why, and why you cannot repair these for the long term. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Uh, we're happy to help. Uh, like I said before, subscribe to this channel because truly all these subscriptions is what keeps this channel going. And we really appreciate it if you have subscribed. Um, if you found this video and it's not the right video that you need, click below. Uh, that's our playlist, a uh, link to our playlist that has all the videos that you need to, that we've made for zipper repair. All right, thanks a lot.